Hi, welcome to the Brocade Campus Feature Explainer Series. I'm Terry Henry. Uh, this time around, we're going to look at a feature that is brand new to uh, 8.0.50, uh, and it's the ability to add all the tagged VLANs uh, currently on the device to an interface. So, much like on the VDX or other vendors, um, you know, allow all, um, it will take all of the existing VLANs and add to the interface. However, it's different than on a VDX where that's dynamic, right? Where um, it, as you add a new VLAN to the device, that VLAN is automatically allowed on that interface. And the ICX, in this case, that is not it. It will, uh, when you run the command, it adds all the existing VLANs, but when you add new VLANs to the box, they do not get automatically added until you run the command again. So let's have a look at how that works. So, from my uh, 7250, uh, so if we look at my show version here, you can see uh, that I'm running uh, SPR 08050. So, this is uh, brand new code. So, it's the R here, we can see that it's router code, and it's 8050. Um, okay, so, first of all, what we're going to do is, uh, normally, if I wanted to add multiple VLANs, I have to go to each VLAN, right? So, you know, I could create, I'm going to config T, Go VLAN 10, you know, um, tag E111, and then VLAN 20, tag E111, VLAN 30, etc. right? So if you have only a few VLANs, not a big deal. But if you've got a lot of VLANs configured on your device, you know, say you've got 50 VLANs, this is going to be a pretty time-consuming process to go to your uplinks and add all of those VLANs available. So the the uh, the new command um, is config uh, VLAN dash config, and the way we apply it is on a per interface basis. So so I just went ahead and I just added four VLANs to that interface, and it took me you know several commands to do that, right? So let's say I want to on port one one two for example, I want to add those same four VLANs. So the easy way to do it is go to the interface itself, interface E, 1 slash 1 slash 2 in this case, right? And then we run the VLAN dash config. And if I do a question mark here, I've got a couple options. I can add, I can move, or I can remove. Move is for untagged interfaces. We'll cover that in a different video. But add and remove is what we're going to see here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add, once to know what your action is, all dash tagged. So all the tag VLANs that are available on the box and hit enter, right? And it says command may take approximately zero seconds. Well, I've only got four VLANs. If you had a lot of VLANs, it might take a couple of seconds because it's literally adding those commands into the configuration. However, you know, as you saw, it took, you know, substantially less than a second. And it says here, you know, port one slash one slash two add to four VLANs complete, right? So now if I look at my running configuration, I now have both uh, port 111, which I manually added, and 112, which I added with that command, right? Um, now, as I said before, if I add a new VLAN to the box, if I say add VLAN 50, tag E111, it is not, uh, so if I go down here to 50, it's not automatically going to get added to 112. Right, so if I wanted to add that, so if I'm adding multiple VLANs in the field, or as I add new VLANs in the field, I can go back to that interface, 112, uh, and run that VLAN config, and now it says it added one VLAN, right? So it didn't bring the port down, it just added that, that to the interface. So again, if I look at the show run, now I see 112 added to that VLAN. Okay, so that's how we add multiple. And, and so I'm only showing, now I'm showing five VLANs, but it, you know, it could be 10, 50, 100, whatever. Um, so the, the next step, let's say I want to remove multiple VLANs, right? So it's the same command, VLAN-config from the interface level. Uh, I can do a remove, uh, and then you can either set up a list or do all. So let's say I do all, I'm going to remove all from that, from that interface, okay? So, um, so it says it removed 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Uh, 4091 is reserved 
uh, and VLAN 1 is the default. So it couldn't remove those, and that's fine. It put that back in the default VLAN, um, but it did remove the other, the, all the tagged VLANs of the interface. So it did what it was supposed to do. The other option is I can do a list. So, you know, let's say I don't want to remove all the VLANs. I just want to remove a, you know, a fraction of those VLANs. So uh, what I'm going to do is go into 111, where I still have all the VLANs. Uh, and we'll do the same thing, but I'm going to set up a list. So we'll do VLAN-config. Um, and then we are going to remove, and we'll set up our list. So VLAN, and you do the beginning VLAN, so from 10 to, uh, let's say, 40. So it removed 10, 20, 30, 40, but it did not remove 50 right because I just set up the beginning and the end of the list so now 10 20 30 40 have no ports left in them and VLAN 50 still has port 111 because I did not remove that I excluded that from the list if you will okay so uh, yeah easy new way to add multiple VLANs just remember that it doesn't dynamically update the ports as you add new VLANs into the box so that is a that is you need to go back and rerun that command as you add new VLANs but that's it for today, and thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.